Right, this is Sheila off in the creaky old VW, sputtering oil and staggering, and I was very worried I was ever going to leave Paracoom to get to Baranaba. I was a bit concerned. Um, yeah, I did have a lot of trouble with the, with the, the van, with the oil and all that sort of thing. It was uh, quite a worry, really. Anyway, hopefully I'll be more prepared when I buy another one uh, to make sure that doesn't happen to me again. So here I go now, another tape recording where I'm down in Devon in 2007 and I'm off to Berenaba to see if I can find any ancestors for my daughter Zara on her father's side. I've got to the best kept village called Berenaba. We're back in the 16th and 17th centuries. There were loverings here. So we're not looking for Barbaries. We're looking for loverings. It's got a little village car park. It's got toilets, and from the car park, you can see the church. So everything's looking good at the moment. I've got here, this is the last big trip, or village, to visit. Before it gets dark, it's the time is now nearly three o'clock in the afternoon. The van has got me here, bless it. And... I have to decide whether I'm going to do Barnstable or come home because the van is struggling quite a lot at the moment. So, anyway, we're off to have a look round. Right, I've arrived at the church or side gate. So I don't actually know what the name of the church is yet. This is a very old village. There's a very, very old thatched cottage. There's a Barton Lane. It's got toilets and car park. Lots of cycling. Um, so I'll make my way round. So a Thomas son of the above, who died in 1849, age 18. He's a comus. That's the church at Berrien Arbor. I said I don't know its name yet. Lees, L-E-Y. Hewitt's Lee Worthy. There's a Thomas Gammon, who died in 1869, age 58. Wilma Gammon, who died in 1905, age 88. Lots of Hardings here, and Hickses, and Faces. There's a lot of very, very old slate ones, but are unreadable. So it's always a possibility that um, they'll be on one of those. There's Watts's as well. John Irwin, beloved husband of Georgina Irwin, who died August the 9th, 1900, age 25. And John Richard, son of the above, who died 1904, age 2 years and 11 months. That's a John Irwin. Right, even though there's evidence in the 16th and 17th century of Loverings being here, there aren't any signs from now, but there are a very lot of old graves that can't be really read. They're old slate, they're chipped. Oh, there's that other big ditch going around the side here. I'm going to go inside now. There's a nice church there. It's a bit disappointing, the last three churches, I haven't really found anything.
manor hall as well, next to the church. They've got manor cottages, little tiny cottages. I don't know where this goes, but... Court Cottage. Right, I've had a good look round. I've, um... It's very picturesque. There's someone in the village that makes some... Um, Bill and Ben figures. sells them and apparently they're as you look around all the different cottages have got them doing in various guises around the village it's got a good idea actually i just spoke to an old lady who was telling me about um a trip down some valley she said it is windy but it's very pretty I don't know if there'll be room for two, not to say something comes the other way. What am I going to do? I've got to think about the... It's quarter to four now. People will be coming in from work, won't they? Nipping down that bit. Oh, it's such a pain. If the van was fine, it wouldn't make any difference. Let's have a look on the map. Right. It's ten to six. Saturday, the 13th of October, and I'm now getting ready to drive to Barnstable early so I can avoid all the traffic um, because the van is struggling. I need to be able to see if I can get there, if not, get back to Somerset or something. plan is to go and have a wander around Barnstable today, park up somewhere, that's the plan. Right, it's the end of the Devon trip for now, I was going to go to Barnstable, but I decided I was tired and the, the van needed to get out of a stressful predicament, or well, it would have been too much for it to um, struggle through Barnstable and I was tired so I decided to come back and I've just stopped at the Wellington service station, it's 10 o'clock now but I've been here since 8 so I was knackered but I'm not far to go till I'm home now see you later Right, that was a short little thing, a very short visit to Barren Arbor, um, but I was keen to get back to, to Ifrakum to pick up some documents that I was getting from the museum. Over and out then.